How do you feel about these jobs being taken by people who have never welded or touched a machine in their lives? That might be a common misconception because we actually do need trained individuals who have a good understanding and background of welding and fabrication because we have to not only teach them how to use the new tool, but also teach the new tool how to weld. You can't teach this how to weld without knowing how to weld a little bit yourself. So I would say that most people that are actually using this equipment have a background and knowledge of welding and the people that maybe don't have an understanding of the machine a little bit better, but not how to use it as good as someone who has the welding experience. So how many skilled weld doors are being replaced? First of all, thank you for using the proper terminology for welder. I really appreciate that. Fact of the matter is, there aren't as many skilled welders out in the industry to this day. I can't tell you how many jobs that I've worked at and watch welders come in and take the test and bomb, or be a welder taking the test alongside 20 others and being only one of two or three that actually pass the test for the day. The problem is not the cobots, it's that we are lacking the skilled trained people to do the welds themselves. The repetition and the things that a welder has to do on the daily and make the same quality consistent weld is harder than it used to be to find. And they're not here to take anyone's job, it's just, again, another tool for a welder to make that consistent, repetitive, same clean weld every single time. 